our 2022 Founders Day prayer service. To our sisters joining us today, happy Founders Day Eve. Francois Arroyo, Anna Fay, Anna Brun, Marguerite Bertier, Anna Chalier, and Clara Chastel, with the support of Father Madai, Bishop de Maupas, for what would be known as the Little Design. These women of rock and fire had the same shared desire to circle their city with love, a healing love. They were bridge builders who sought to bring neighbor and neighbor together and neighbor together with God. 372 years later, their legacy lives on through each one of us, Sisters of St. Joseph, Associates in Mission, and Partners in Mission. Today's service will highlight one part of the story, but what a beautiful invitation we've been given to continue writing their story. It was said in a homily given to Mother St. John Fontbaud as she regathered sisters together in Lyon. You, my dear daughters, are few in numbers, but like a swarm of bees, you will spread everywhere. Your number shall be as the stars of heaven. Each day, the choices we make, the lessons we learn, help us to grow in our understanding and ability to carry the mission forward. We are the lace makers of this generation adding to a tapestry, weaving in our commitment to inclusive love. Thank you for being with us today. The body of Christ has many different parts, just as any other body does. Some of us are Jews and others are Gentiles. Some of us are slaves and others are free. But God's Spirit baptized each of us and made us part of the body of Christ. Now we each drink from that same Spirit. The word of the Lord. In Leon, France, in 1808. So, my dear descendants, I end with the words I hope you will always remember. I watch over you every day. I need you to carry on the mission, the mission of unity. I ask you to be joyful, to be kind to all, to be good leaders and to use your gifts wisely with full heart and zeal. I am Bishop Francis Patrick Kimber, and when I saw the good work of the Sister of St. Joseph on a visit to my brother, Bishop Peter Richard Kimber, in St. Louis, I asked the congregation to send sisters to Philadelphia. Within three years, the Sisters of St. Joseph were in new ministries at St. Joseph's Hospital, St. Anne's Home for Widows, and St. Patrick Elementary School in Pottsville. I sent a letter back to my brother characterizing his sisters as having a generous spirit ready for any good work. I am Bishop John Newman, successor to Bishop Kenrick and a friend advisor to Mother St. John Fournier. I supported the congregation in its own growth by first helping them acquire a mother house in McSherry's town and then later in moving the mother house to Philadelphia to accommodate the growing number of urban ministries. I celebrated the first mass at Mount St. Joseph Convent on August 21st, 1858. I am Mother St. John Fournier. I'm the founder of Sisters of St. Joseph here in Chestnut Hill on August 16th, 1858. I'm happy that you are celebrating the founder's legacy and mission. You are living out my spirit by your good works, being the hungry, visiting the sisters at the villa, reaching out to the neighbors in need, and circling the city with love. Continuing to recognize the face of God in every dear neighbor where you live and search out those in need. God, I stand by your side, and you